This is Henry Ford. This is Carl Benz. They were pioneers in the history of the motor car because they built automobiles and made tremendous use of their imaginations in the process. Henry Ford built Model Ts, and Carl Benz was the man behind the Mercedes. They were two men whose ideas captured the attention of the world. This is Jay Orberg of North Hollywood, California. He builds cars, too. And although he may share that distinction with Henry Ford and Carl Benz, he's probably got them beaten in the imagination department. Jay Orberg is the owner and mastermind behind Jay Orberg Star Cars, a company that creates and builds many of the more imaginative vehicles you see on TV, in the movies, and at car shows. He used to be a drag racer until a movie studio wanted to rent his race car for a picture. Jay saw an opportunity and seized it. It's worked into a business, and now uh, the business of these cars is I rent them to uh, movies and TV shows and commercials. And uh, now we're doing automobile shows all over the world and promotions, and uh, that's kind of where we're going with these things. Jay has even designed cars that never get built. Here's a drawing of one of his designs, complete with an interior and full detailing. Maybe you've seen the car parked at its destination, a full-page magazine ad. The walls of Jay's office are lined with pictures of some of his past projects, the Ghostbusters ambulance, the world's longest limousine. Jay even designed a Pac-Man car. In fact, Jay Orberg has built so many cars, it's almost impossible to gather them all in one place. But Jay does have plans. We're up to about 150 cars, and the plan is to open a museum now in Las Vegas. This warehouse next to Jay's shop houses just a few of his creations. Since many are in the process of restoration, we couldn't get a close look at them. But several others were available for the Wild About Wheels cameras. Ed Big Daddy Roth designed this way out combo. A chromed and candy apple Triumph motorcycle rides piggyback on an outrageous Sidewinder pickup with a chromed V6 sitting right next to the cockpit. You'll recognize this car if you saw any of the Back to the Future movies. Of course, it's Doc Brown's DeLorean. And it's going to be part of a new movie display that Jay is planning to exhibit soon worldwide. This town car stretch limousine doesn't look very unusual going by, especially in a place like Hollywood. But Jay's Lincoln stretch has gull wing doors and a wet bar that would give the lounge at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel a run for its money. Then we have a notorious Orberg work of art. The Boot Hill Express is made from an 1850 horse-drawn hearse and it has a late model Chrysler Hemi engine in it. It's an uh, exhibition show car from the 60s and there's uh, been a toy model of it for several years now. In fact, many of the cars Jay has helped to design have been duplicated in model kits. The Batmobile, the Monster Coach, the Dodge Charger from the Dukes of Hazard. Remember the TV show Doctari? Jay provided the official Jeep with the appropriate paintwork. We weren't sure what this stretch wagon was all about with the giant hat on top, and we didn't ask. Jay built this Longhorn Roadster. It's very rare. Or is it medium rare? If that's not wild enough for you, get out your skate key and turn the ignition on the Chevy-powered 15-foot high roller skate. A roller skate car is, I've had this idea to build this crazy roller skate, skate for a long time. And it's a, uh, we carved this out of foam, we scaled it, carved it out of foam, and then we made a fiberglass mold. And it has a Chevy V8 engine, and you drive it from the very top, and it's the world's fastest roller skate. Now this will really impress the guys down at the country club the world's largest F40 Ferrari. This car that we're looking at right now is a, an F40 Ferrari limousine, which is a one-of-a-kind. We built this off the current uh, model Ferrari, which is the most expensive Ferrari ever made. And this is uh, 35 feet long, it's all metal body, and we actually scaled it off a toy model. And it has 10 gold wheels, and it was made, we used like a Fiero chassis and a V6 engine. Jay met his wife, Karen, when they were both working at NBC on the series Knight Rider. She was a costume designer. He was doing some stunt driving. In fact, this is the Trans Am that starred in the show. It was at Jay's shop getting an overhaul the day we visited. With all the projects Jay has cooking, why is he sprucing up a car that isn't on TV anymore? We're also working right now on a new Knight Rider show with brand new cars, so uh, Knight Rider's coming back. Look out. After several days of waxing your 35-foot Ferrari, it's time for some music from your own small block Chevy powered piano car with a genuine grand piano body. 
How does it sound? It depends who's playing. Then again, it'll play without you. J. Orberg Star Cards, from the imagination of a man who is definitely... Wild About Wheels.